Hi, my name is Seti and welcome back to the channel where we make educational technology easy for you. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can take attendance of everyone joining your Google Meet and get some information about when they've joined that meeting. Let's dive into it with another flipped classroom tutorial. Now, this is another extension that is going to add functionality to Google Meet. Now, Google Meet is an incredible platform and many of us are using it for our online teaching. Now, this extension will add the functionality of taking attendance. Now, it was written Written by Clay and I have done another video about one of Clay's extensions that allows you to use a timer in Google Slides but this one this one is about Google Meet. Let's start by installing this extension. Now you can find the link in the description below or you can simply type in Meet Attendance. Now once you're in the Chrome Web Store we're going to add to our Chrome. So we're going to click on Add to Chrome and then we're going to add this extension. Now you'll see as soon as the extension is added, there'll be a little icon at the top. Now it is not colored at the moment and that's because it is not reading the information on this page. However, once we start using it in Google Meet, then it will start running. Now you can ask your admin to push this out to all the staff that might require it or wants to use it. But before that, you can always try it yourself. Now let's go ahead and set up our Google meeting. I'm going to go to meet.google.com and then just as a demo, I'm going to invite a couple of my own accounts. Now we're going to set up this meeting with a very basic name. We're going to give it a nickname here and we're going to call this test attend. There we go. And then before we click on continue, if you create your meetings this way, you can share that nickname with your students, but until you've joined this meeting, well then they cannot enter that meeting. This is a really good way of sharing things ahead of time without having students join the meeting before it has actually started. Do note, as soon as I click on continue, they can now start joining this meeting. Now I'm going to join without the microphone and this is to prevent some feedback as I'm going to be joining with multiple Multiple accounts. Now let's go ahead and join. There we go. We're now in our meeting and as you can see at the top we have that icon in color. That means the extension is now working on this page and is going to take attendance of everyone that joins this meeting. Now when you click on the icon of the extension you'll get all the information about what the different icons do. So we have a right click option, adding a new sheet, creating a new spreadsheet, etc. Now all these things will be visible in your people's tab. And then you will see we now have this extra icon here and this is the attendance. Now when I click on that I get sent straight to that spreadsheet where it gives me an overview of who's been into my meeting and when they've joined. So now let's go ahead and let's just start admitting people into the meeting. I'm going to open up a separate account and I'm going to invite that person. So let's go ahead and open up another account. And there we go we're going to enter that meeting. We are going to turn off the microphone and then ask to join. There we go, we're now going to have to admit. This person is now in the meeting and what I can do now is I can hover over that extra icon in the top right corner and right click. Now when I right click what you'll see then is that all these options that you saw earlier are here and they're visible. So I can either toggle this on or off to automatically capture all the people in my meeting or I can also create a new spreadsheet. Let's say that you have a very long meeting and you only capture people for the first hour and then you capture another group for the second hour. Well this is how you can do that. I'm going to leave this on and as you can see now it's already captured two people. Let's go ahead and leave this meeting with one account and then rejoin with another account. So I'm going to just go to this account, turn this off. So let's go ahead and open up another demo account and join this exact same meeting. Again we're going to turn off the microphone and join the meeting. We're going to minimize this and we are now in the hosts view. I can see there are two people in this meeting, but when I click on that icon, it's going to open up that spreadsheet. So let's go ahead and have a look at the spreadsheet. Now here on the spreadsheet, what you'll see is two columns. Now these are different timestamps. So at this time, when this timestamp was taken, on this meeting window, we had these two people. Then later, at one minute later, we had these two people in our meeting. Now this gives us a nice overview and a very neat overview of who's joined and when they were active in that meeting. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, make sure to scroll down into the comment section. Let me know how are you going to use this and are you already using a similar system or not? And what other options or functionality would you like to see added to Google Meet? Now I'm looking forward to reading all those comments and then on your way back up, make sure to subscribe 
subscribe, hit the notification bell so you can be notified of future videos. In the meantime, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.